So let's talk calls of the day now. CVS downgraded to market perform at Bernstein. Brenda, we do it because you own it. Yes, so I think, you know, this analyst, it was a reinitiation of coverage of the whole sector. Um, and within that, he thinks that CVS is less attractive than some other names. But we would disagree. We still really like CVS. We think they're incredibly unique in terms of their integrated healthcare model. Definitely well positioned to deal with a shift, more value based care that we see coming in the future. And if we look at what they're doing, they are being very innovative. They really are trying to capture more digital customers. They had 44 million digital customers. Um, uh, at the end of last quarter. So really are making good strides and uh, it's been an excellent performer. We really continue to like the name. Only 11 times earnings as well, I mentioned. All right, uh, let's talk Gap. Uh, ugly, what else can I say? Downgraded to underweight mm. at Morgan Stanley. Downgraded to underweight at JP Morgan. Take a look at the shares, please, of the Gap. Let's see, the, there they are. Wow, they've come back. That's surprising. Because they were down like 17, 18% pre-market, down 5% after that, and now they've rallied. And that's an interesting sign for the market, too. Doc, you bought the Gap shares. Yeah, I did, Scott. And I did uh, more or less thinking the same sort of thing that we were seeing some sort of a washout. I mean, you know, for God's sake, the inventory levels were up over 30%. Um, Old Navy, which is usually the, just their uh, stellar side of their business, was not. And that's where a lot of the inventory build was. But uh, Banana Republic turned around pretty dramatically and uh, sales were up there, I think, over 20 percent. Um, so uh, when the, it had a circuit breaker this morning that took shares down to about 950, um, that's when we jumped in, bought it, had unusual activity in the options that expire next week. So I don't know if this is a long-term hold, Scott, but it's probably a hold into next week, next Friday, when these options expire. Mm. You looking at retail? I'm looking at, at retail. retail. I am looking at retail. Hope to have something to talk to you about next week. But it's not going to be Gap Stores or Abercrombie and Fitch or American Eagle. That's you. You have to have a level of insight into what's going on with fashion. That all kidding aside, I don't have. I don't know when khakis are in, and I'm supposed to go to the Gap. Evident. I don't know when you know teen sexy chic is in. I'm supposed to go to Abercrombie and Fitch. So you're going to see me probably next week with something that's a little bigger picture on retail. I mean, teen retail has not been doing well, and I, I recall a conversation. Uh, I think it was Melissa on the three o'clock with uh, Dana Telsey, who talked about how weak teen has been. But you look at some of these other names this week. Uh, Dollar Tree up 27 and a half percent this week. Macy's 26. Dollar General 21. Ross 21. Nordstrom 20. Nordstrom. Best Buy, Costco, TJX. So here's the point, and by the way, Dana Telsey, great analyst on exactly the things I don't know. The point is this: the consumer does appear to be in good shape.